Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Right, before we get started, obviously this video is sponsored by Terra Bear Printing. If you wanted a custom shirt or you want to design a shirt, use the word sport for 10% off your purchase price. And hopefully we'll have done the match very soon. But anyway, this video I'm so happy to make. And I'll get to thank you guys for who did not pay for the pay-per-view football. I'm going to go over some of the results, I'm going to, you know, basically what the Chief Executive said and all that stuff. But anyway guys, let's get straight on, let's get straight on with this video. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, but it was a big crap comes up, you enjoy it, and let's go. So, the Chief said of the Premier League, basically said, with this is the feedback, we're going to scrap the tape for new football. I don't quite believe that it is to our feedback. I believe what actually happened was that there's so much money going to food banks, local food banks like up in leagues or you know all over the country or local charities and this way I get to say a big thank you to you guys for not paying for the football. I didn't and I did find a disgrace but coming up with the idea I think they thought we were a bit of, uh, you know what, I'm not sure if I can start to YouTube, but you, you can guess, you know where I'm going with. But, you know, big thanks to you guys for not playing for football. I'm going to go over some of the results. Um, for example, Brighton Westbourne finished 1 1, and I know a lot of Brighton fans were happy with that. Wolves and Palace were 2 0 uh, to Wolves. Burnley versus Chelsea finished 3 0 Chelsea. Villa versus South had to finish 4 3. Only game that was worth, worth, worth paying for. Spurs Brighton finished 2 1. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of Brighton fans were disappointed with that who did pay for it. Fulham West Brom finished 2 0 Fulham. Where Fulham showed Brighton how to do a job on that day. And that was at Craver Cottage. Brighton Burnley went on the old, uh, yeah, I don't know, a lot of Brighton fans weren't happy with that bit of a boring game that was a lot. Uh, Palace versus Leeds finished 4-1. Yet again, a uh, bit of a pay for game, and I know a few fans weren't happy about that. West Ham versus Fulham finished 1-0 West Ham. West Brom versus Tottenham finished 1-0 to Tottenham. And Arsenal versus Villa finished 3-0 to Villa. So, on a Villa point of view, that was, you know, a worth paying for. Obviously, it all comes down to money. Obviously, a lot of clubs are doing a refund for season tickets because of what's going on, which you know, I'm thankful for, for uh, right for doing that. But on the other hand, you really have got to decide about, you know, what can they do to make money. Uh, I know it's hard, but this definitely went away forward for the clubs to make money. Obviously there is a few more, obviously all the football's got to come back to the uh, free, you can't call it free, you know what I mean, if you're a Sky Sports subscriber or BT Sports subscriber you'll get the football. But I do look at this and you know they didn't really get the big games, let's be honest. I mean mainly like Leverton, that was all the BT Sports and Clown Kickoff. There weren't really like an Arsenal Tottenham game on there, was there really? It was just the games that none of the big companies looked look for. So, you know, fit, you know, they tried to put on box office and obviously it backfired. I really do think of the fact of, you know, going forward. I do think there is a way of doing it, but I can't quite work out the way how. Obviously the five sub ball has came back up again and big clubs calling for that. I'm not in favour of that. Now let's well I just want to talk about this five sub ball just for a minute. Because it happened because we were playing last season in the summer. That's why it all came about. I don't get why the pre big Premier League clubs want it in burst into the Premier League. Okay, so if that's the case, why not make ten subs, you know, a match? It's just I don't get it, but all big clubs are asking for it. I'm hoping that, that don't go through because that bet the game even more. VAR, obviously, is still in the headlines. Uh, I'm trying to think why these games are VAR. I think, no, that won't even see. Leicester versus Wolverhampton. 
that won't even box office and that is a real box office game this is what I'm saying though with the box office about you know people not not really getting an entertaining game I mean Brighton Burnley nil nil okay Brighton should have probably won that game but didn't Westbrook versus Brighton West, uh, Brighton was good in the first half absolutely rubbish in the second half they weren't really like big big games you know like as I said, May Night Tottenham, May Night Man City, Liverpool May United. All the big games we're still getting for the subscriptions. So, you know, Sky Sports Premier League, Sky Sports uh, Main Event, BT Sports. And this was my big argument with the pay for few games itself. I roughly had an idea what was going to happen, and I roughly was correct they weren't really like the big box office games that you would, would want to pay 15 pounds for as i said thank god they're scrapping it i'm over the moon with them as i said i was one of the fans that did not pay for no football and um, i really don't see the point in paying 15 pounds can't get my head around that obviously you are in your rights to pay for football and i know some of you did I ain't going to have a go at you for that. Obviously, if you want to watch your team play, then there's probably the best way possible. But I would rather miss my team, not watching them play, and, you know, save myself 15 quid. As I said, thank God they've scrapped this. Uh, well, at least until 2021. There will be more videos like this coming up. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do, so Oh, before I go, just want to do one more thing. Um, so Brighton had Brighton had three games on box office. West Brom had two. I think Villa had three, three or two. I had, at this, I got it down as two. I could be wrong though. Burnley had two. I think only Arsenal have one. But as I said, you look at all the top clubs; they really didn't have a game on box office. Uh, so mostly for the small clubs, but as I said at the start of this video, a big thank you to you for not paying. If you did, I'm not mad at you, you know, as I said in this video, it's your rights to pay for it if you wanted to. But I'm going to bring this video definitely to an end now, so guys, you know what to do. Just a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out.